So, we were gonna be filming a video, top things that we absolutely hate about this truck. The problem is, we couldn't find anything that was specific to Ford for this model year that I could find that was a major design flaw that they didn't offer in a different trim level or as an option from factory. So, we're actually gonna turn this thing around. We're actually gonna just make this pretty much the top things, like one week of ownership, top things that I like about this truck, which is actually gonna be one of your guys' trucks here very soon, so remember that if you wanna get entered to win this truck, Every $1 is 30 entries to win it right now, which, by the way, like this is one of our new shirts. They are a little more fitted around the sleeve and around the shoulder, a little looser and a little longer down low. You know what I'm saying? But we're gonna go through some things on this. Like we were going around this truck and like this truck's an XL model that was like fully spec'd out, probably about as high of options as you could get with an XL. And I was like trying to find things. I'm like, I cannot find anything that's specific to an F-250, 6.7 power stroke that I despise about it other than like from factory they're not the leader to tune but that's no matter what brand you go with and no matter what model of you know Ford, Chevy or Dodge or whatever so it, it just kind of seemed like a stupid thing and everything else I'm like I can't find very many things that I don't like about this truck and if I find something they offer it in a different model anyway so it's kind of like a dumb thing so let's go in the truck we're gonna start it up back into the shop and I'm actually gonna go over the top things that I love about this truck and features that are more specific to the Fords in general after one week of ownership. Let's get to it. What does? Get him. He's carrying another mug or something. You better not miss. Okay guys, so we're gonna go over a list of things. Some of these things are like a generalized feature that I really like, and a lot of these are like specific to what I say a lot. We're only doing like five topics in general, but um, a lot of these are specific to this truck like 2017 Ford and what they offered in that year for this truck and some of these features you still couldn't get and even the higher trim level of like the Rams and the Chevys of this time now some of this stuff might have changed since then but we're gonna go through the list and these are some of the top features that I love about this truck one of the things that are specific to Ford as far as I know they're still the only ones to offer a full aluminum body and I know that there's guys that are like die hard, you know, steel, it's the real deal. It's, it's heavier, it's tougher, it's cheaper to fix, whatever, I get it. But let's be honest, if you wreck a steel truck or you wreck an aluminum truck, it sucks either way. And for the most part, if you've got a truck like this, you better have good insurance and they're gonna pay for it anyways. So, you know, who really cares? Um, in my case, this is cool because where I live at least, and we're probably half of you guys at least watching this, the north half of the country, at least the northeast, more specific to our area, we get a lot of snow, they spread a lot of salt, and these things rot like fast if they are not aluminum trucks. Or you've just gotta like pressure wash them like religiously throughout the winter if they're a steel pickup like a Ram or a Chevy, just because they, they just rust really, really quick, especially up here because of the elements and the salt, it just makes it suck. So, this being aluminum, absolutely love it. In 2017 at least, I'm pretty sure they were the only ones to offer that. And I think that still holds true at the moment. Uh, I think there's some stuff that steal like bumpers and stuff, but um, for the most part, the body of the truck, aluminum, big win right there. The second thing on my list of things that I freaking love about this truck that are more specific to this truck, this is a 2017, it's an XL model, which again, generally when you think XL, you're thinking base model, not a lot of options, whatever. This truck's actually impressively optioned out, but this option I love, which is a 48 gallon diesel fuel tank on this thing. It's just absolutely ridiculous. So this truck right now is rocking 35 by 14 and a half tires, the 22 by 14s. How accurate the MPG reading is on this thing, I don't know, I'm sure it's off a little, but it says that I'm averaging 18.5 to 18.9 MPG, like cruising going 70, 65 to 70. When I filled this thing up the other day, it said that I had 950 miles till empty, which is absurd. And I was like, this fuel tank, either this is way misreading the mileage in the MPG I'm getting, or this fuel tank is huge. So I looked up 2017 Ford, you know, XL, long bed crew cab truck, like how big is the fuel tank? 48 gallon fuel tank, which is absurdly 
big. I mean, that's a big fuel tank. But I'll tell you why I like that feature. There's a lot of guys that do a lot of hot shot trucking, they do a lot of driving where you live way out in the middle of nowhere and you gotta have a truck that you can fill that thing up when you're in town and you do not have to worry about it when you're out on the farm, you're hauling stuff around, place to place. Like, you don't have to worry about it for a long time and it can keep you working longer instead of filling up so much with all that downtime of having to go stop, fill back up, do your thing. Absolutely love that. I mean, literally you fill the thing up four times and it's time to change your oil again. So. Um, that's just, it's just wild to me that it's such a big fuel tank, but number two on my list, absolutely love that feature about the truck. Okay, next feature is going to be on the interior. So we're going to start this thing up and have him hop on in here. I'm going to turn up the brightness there, but you can see this truck, again, it's an XL model. This is from factory. This thing has a 360 bird's eye view camera system, and you can actually um, change it between what camera you want to see and what you want your view to be. And you can zoom it in, which is like pretty freaking sick. You can zoom it out, which is I believe what that is. Uh, just really cool. Um, and then you can go to the bird's eye view and you can actually see all the way around the truck, which is awesome. And then if you wanna throw it in reverse, you have the option of just seeing your rear, which like if you had a hitch, your hitch would be sticking right there so you can hook it up easier to your trailers. And you can actually swap it around and choose what view you want. And this is like a bed view, which is really cool because then it makes it easy to hook up goosenecks and stuff like that. And then you still got this view, which shows you like how far you are from either backing into the gooseneck and getting too close in terms of with your bumper or just hitting something in general. You can see like when I let off, the sensors go crazy and they let you know like how close or far you are. So, um, in terms of features on the inside, I'm telling you right now, the 360 camera setup on this thing is super sick. And I don't think, correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section below, I'm sure you guys will let me know if I'm wrong. You guys will comment away and take so much joy in that, which is why the comment section is there, by the way. I don't think anybody else offered the 360 cameras in that year for this like for a base trim level truck it seems so funny like calling this a base trim level truck when i'm like used to driving second gens and stuff which are like really like super super base and this thing has like freaking apple carplay 360 cameras i mean it's got all the nice features and things that to me are like really sick but yeah so ford did offer that in a base level truck which is super sweet another thing that they offer not only is it an electronic four-wheel drive selector but it has, if you check this out, Ty, you have to get on this side of the dial. You can see, if you pull the switch out, you can pop this out, and it'll actually lock up your rear end so you can have a lock differential and you won't have a limited slip rear end anymore. So like, if you're into like doing burnouts and stuff like that, which I personally am not a huge fan of, I don't believe in like shredding perfectly good tires. But you know, there's a lot of guys that they have a lot of fun doing that that makes it to where you don't actually have to do other modifications to be able to lock up your rear end if you want to like shred your tires and you know whip around you guys just pull that knob and you're ready for a nasty burnout and another feature that i don't know if it is specific to fords only for having this option in a base model truck again i say base model i'm saying that very lightly because there's guys that are like making comments under my posts and stuff like oh my gosh i can't believe you're only it's only a base model it's only a base model like if I'm entering to win, I don't want a base model truck. It's like, dude, like, this thing is freaking sick. I would freaking love to drive this thing every day. I would have no complaints. But it has stinking remote start, and it's a base model truck. So, literally, lock. freaking remote start in an XL. So that's freaking cool. And I'm pretty sure this is a factory Ford key fob with the flip out key, because it's not a push button. It's got the remote start from factory, from Ford. And again, I don't know if in 2017, Ram offered that as an option for their base model, you know, like uh, tradesman trucks, or if Chevrolet offered that in their base model work trucks, but in terms of features that I know this has, and it's an XL, that's freaking nice. Especially when it's cold out. Again, up north, it gets really cold. That's a pretty sweet feature to have. This is just a personal preference thing. I know there's guys that absolutely hate the Aluma Duty pickup trucks, but me personally, I think it's really cool. So Ford had the same like frame, and for the most part, the body could go on the same frame setup, and you could swap out like 
some of the doors and bed and stuff like that, like literally from 99 to like 2016 models. And there was guys that would just take front clips off of the new trucks and put them on a 7.3 or like the, the uh, body and swap and all that stuff or the beds, you know, they're totally interchangeable, which from like a business perspective on Ford side, that's brilliant. If you can redesign the truck, people love it, but a lot of the body parts are still interchangeable with the old stuff and the new stuff. But I love the new design of these trucks. And of course they've done some more changes since this, but in 2017, they redid pretty much everything about the truck. So you got all these aggressive body lines and then literally all the way down the truck, just the very aggressive body design. And like if this was a dually, the dually fenders look freaking so sick on these three, 350 and 450s. They remind me personally of like an OBS Ford dually. They had those big boxy fenders on them. Just like a modern old school look. Like the, the body lines are very aggressive. They're not subtle, but it, it looks so, so sick. Like a stance out OBS and a stance out one of these, like with those dually fenders that they have on the new ones. And they remind me so much of the old OBS dually fenders and super cool. But the body lines, I love them on this truck. I think they're very aggressive, especially when you come around to the front end of the truck. Especially when you come around to the front end of the truck, like the headlight design at the time. Again, at the time, now GM has the same C-shaped thing on their trucks, but in 2017 they didn't. This design to me was like so sick with the headlight setup. Now this obviously is the factory one, but like in the Lariats and Platinums and Limiteds that you could get, they had like this option for these big, huge projector LED surrounds headlights and they were like super sick, super aggressive. And I just think Ford absolutely killed it with this. So in terms of preference, again, that's more of a preference feature. I think it looks freaking awesome. The number one thing that you guys should love about this truck is the fact that you guys can enter to win this thing right now. Super sick, every $1, 30 entries, which is our absolute highest entry multiplier, which ends in I believe 24 or 48 hours. There's not much time left. And you could buy a hat like the one that I'm wearing, buy one of our new shirts like this. We did a total redesign with the shirts. Again, the fitment around the shoulders and the arms is like super, super nice, super comfortable. And the material is totally different. I believe the specs and information is on the website. Uh, but the shirts are just longer. The torso section is much longer, which is more universal for more guys that have short torsos or long torsos. It's more forgiving for both types of people. In terms of the website, tons of new stuff, lots of new options. Everything from hoodies, hats, to stickers, to decals. I mean, just loaded with new options. And I did a lot of work on that website along with our team that helped us with that. So if you guys want to go check that out, even if you don't want to buy anything, just go check it out. It's pretty sick. But yeah, somebody's going to take this thing home. That somebody could be you if you grab those entries. It only takes one to win it all. Who wouldn't want a like, free truck? It's pretty sick. I mean, like, there's like some people that are like, oh, you know, it's not a free truck if you have to like buy a hat. But it's like, okay, well, you bought the hat. You didn't buy the truck. <laughs> oh, I know you're talking to me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was talking to you. <laughs> Way to leave me hanging. <laughs> I think it's sick. I mean, I buy a hat just to buy one. I think the yep. new merch is sick. And you could even wear them like that if you want. I mean, if you want to be like if weird. You want, if you want to wear them like that, you should. It's not recommended. I mean, I wouldn't, but you know. Depends, like, if I'm gonna like drop a new album, like Lil Proud or something like that, like Lil LMP. It just sounds, it sounds so stupid. <laughs> I don't even know where we're going with this. <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> anyway, anyways, if you wanna get entered to win the truck, LMPgear.com, peace.